Here we go again. March is almost over. The Bishop heard me entertainment, which is the company that put together Big East of Rice, along with Reverend Tony and his, Mrs. Luann, from the French Quarter Wedding Chapel, hired a cast, which is me, Gino, Maria, Dana, Mia, and in that cast, of course, Reverend Tony and Mrs. Luann. And we're okay, but they, they broke a few promises from the get-go. That should have been the warning for all of us. They said, two weeks after you signed the contract, you will get a check. Well, they read over a month after that. We got a check. After we signed, they said, hey, where's my check? Where's my check? They promised, oh, 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 we're going to put you on TV. You're going to be on the map. Big time. Really? Really? Maybe they put us on the uncharted territory on their maps. Because here we go, all these promises about sending us to like a Jay Lane or David Letterman and all them other shows, talk shows that is, to talk about the product, to talk about the Easter Brides, all of them, all of them which is lies. Which in other words, that's another great way to breach a contract. We were supposed to be given three big checks to amount to the total amount we agreed on, or agreed upon. Somebody tried to print in a radical and I can see somebody say, get on the pack. So, and the last check was split in two. Which, which no. <laughs> that was not part of the contract. It's another bridge. Another bridge you burn. Another bridge you read in the contract. So here we go. Here's March almost over. All these promises at first when we were filming. Bust our asses to make this product true. You told us, oh, it's going to be in December, darling. No, no, it's going to be January, uh, February. Oh, Lord. Shame on you. Truly. And shame on us, the cast, for believing it. And all of y'all, you lied. You lied dearly. You lied, period. We wonder why we're not happy. So, the station, they made the money. Bishop, Herbie Entertainment, they made their money. Lots of it I may have. And the Jeronis who got hired to be toyed around and pushed around and lied, among other things, most likely laughed at. <laughs> Look at the medias. <laughs> That's just a little number over there. We're going to make more of that. <laughs> You know, fuck a change. Let's just get a little hoopla, you know. We're not going to believe. We were just tossing the garbage. Like a dirty rag. Well, then other people putting a show called The Swamp People, with his ignoramuses, who never pursued an acting career, never put in any effort to be in the entertainment business, they're getting the big push. And they had this merchandise. Hats and candies and t-shirts and jackets and this and the other and making the millions of dollars left and right for this, what, for some old motherfucker saying, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Uh-uh. Gino don't play that way. I want somebody with the cojones from whether it's TV, the We TV Network, or the Bishop, Herbie Bishop Enterprises, to give me a call and let me know, yes or no. Yes, we are going for the season two, or no, we don't give a damn, we're through. At least I will, they will have some respect back from me, but at this point, they have lost all respect. So, this is Gino Galento, once more. Ta-ta for now. And all you jabronis who fought, you're going to get the last laugh. And probably you did anyways, because there's nothing I can do much about it at this point. <laughs> I've got a few things I could say, but I'd rather feel the feet at this point. I already said enough. And I, pay my, I make my point loud and clear. So there you go. Another great show that it could have been a great success, tossed in the garbage.
Thanks a lot.